Hello everyone. In this session of CCNA series, I'll demonstrate how to configure a trunk using 802.1Q encapsulation. Also, I'll show you how to configure a native VLAN and verify the same using some show commands. Let's take a simple topology in which we have two switches and three PCs from three different departments, as in three different VLANs connected to each switch. Those PCs in the same VLANs currently are not able to ping each other. So to make it work, we have to configure a trunk link between those two switches. Let me show you uh, if I can ping the other PC that is the, with the IP 192.168.1.2. As you can see, it's not able to reach. So uh, let's log in into the switch and configure the trunk port. By default, the port ports on the switch are in access mode. So uh, you can configure the trunk port by logging into the interface configuration mode and by issuing a command switch port mode trunk. The, trunk, uh, the port will be configured as trunk. On the earlier model, uh, it was required to configure the encapsulation type as either dot one q or ISL. But uh, on those new switches nowadays are having dot one q by default as ISL is obsolete. So you can verify the configuration by showing show running config command. Here you can see uh, this interface is configured as trunk and then you can also verify the operation by showing show interface fa0 slash 2 switch port command here you can see the administrative mode is trunk the operational mode is trunk and uh, encapsulation operational is still administrative is still not showing but operational is showing dot one q let's hop onto the other switch and configure the trunk as well The port which I have connected is FA0 slash 1. Switch port mode trunk. Then let's verify the configuration. Okay. And then let's verify the operational. Okay. Here you can see the administrative and operational mode is trunk and uh, the encapsulation mode is dot one q. Let's verify it on the earlier switch as well. Okay, but for some reason it's not showing, uh, but uh, the operational mode is showing dot one q So this verifies that we have successfully changed the switch port mode to trunk. Let's try if student one can ping to the PC that is on the other side. Excellent. Now, these two PCs can communicate with each other. Similarly, other PCs should also be able to communicate. You can verify it. You can see the faculty PC is also able to reach. Similarly, guest PC also should be able to reach the other side. Excellent. The show interface command is really useful. I'll show you some of uh, the other features which are there in the show command. You can see uh, if an interface is in trunk mode by using this command, it will show if it is a trunk, if it is uh, having encapsulation as dot one q and also another important feature it shows is what is a native VLAN. Currently by default the native VLAN will always be one. It will, it will also show another feature called uh, here, over here. It allows all the VLAN by default. Okay. You can also limit this by allowing particular VLANs. You can use the command switch port mode trunk allow 
switch port trunk allow vlan as for example let me first allow the vlan 10 what this does is it allows only vlan 10 okay later on first let me show you here you can see right now it allows only one vlan that is vlan 10 so you can keep on adding the vlan as in how required switch port trunk allow vlan add what happens is if you use the same command which i used before that allow vlan it will delete the previous one so you have to use the add command to add more vlans let me add 20 and let me add 30 so now it will show see you can see now these three vlans are only allowed this is good security practice because uh, anybody can come and uh, connect a PC and th uh, his VLAN will be allowed. So that will be a big security lapse. So uh, now, so far we have seen how we can enable trunk and also uh, I showed you how we can allow specific VLANs. Let's move on to another topic of how we can change the native VLAN. So when changing the native VLAN, uh, you have to make sure you, you do it on both the switches. Okay. And it is not a good practice to have a native VLAN as VLAN 1. So we have to use a particular VLAN, a dedicated VLAN that should be used, which is not in use for production traffic in the enterprise okay so as i said when changing the native vlan you have to make sure it is changed on both the switches so let's go ahead and uh, change the native vlan port mode port trunk native vlan let's just use any random vlan like 100 And then let's do the same thing on S2 as well. Then I'm going to try the same using show interface fa0 slash one switch board. Here you can see the native VLAN is 100. It is showing inactive because we didn't create a VLAN yet. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And we don't have any interface assigned to it. You can see now the VLAN is active since we have created the VLAN. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for viewing. Please do subscribe and share.